Hey guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk about Jordan Cheyenne coaching her son to look sad for a YouTube thumbnail. I had quite a few thoughts, so if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so this was brought to my attention. You know, you guys always bring stuff to my attention and I'm so grateful that I have a community that cares about what I have to think about certain topics. And I had not heard of this vlogger before today and I did, you know, a little bit of looking into her and, you know, she's usually not very problematic, flies under the radar. She's like a lot of the other vloggers on YouTube. Um, you know, she does show her son in her videos, um, you know, and he was shown in this video that we're going to discuss today, but as far as being known to be problematic, she's not one of those. She's definitely one that flew under my radar. I had never heard of her until I heard about her today. Earlier, I was sent several messages on Instagram and a clip from a video that she uploaded. The clip from the video, that video was now, it, it's now been deleted. So it's no longer on her channel. She has posted an apology. So Jordan has 537,000 subscribers. And like I said, she's your typical vlogger. They recently just got a sweet little puppy and evidently this puppy was diagnosed with parvo. Now. Um, luckily I've never had a puppy that has had parvo, but I'm going to read to you guys what parvo is. So like I said, this puppy was diagnosed with parvo and parvo in puppies is caused by canine parvo virus. This virus is highly contagious and spreads through direct contact with an infected dog or by indirect contact with a contaminated object. Your puppy is exposed to the parvovirus every time he sniffs, licks, or consumes infected feces. Indirect transmission occurs when a person who has recently been exposed to an infected dog touches your puppy or when a puppy encounters a contaminated object like food or water bowl, collars, leashes, and the hands and clothing of people who have handled infected dogs. Puppies are vaccinated against parvo at approximately 6, 8, and 12 weeks of age. They are vulnerable to the disease until they have received all three shots in their vaccination series, which means owners need to take extra precaution during this time to prevent their puppies from contracting the virus. Puppies should receive a dose of canine parvovirus vaccine between 14 and 16 weeks of age, regardless of how many doses they have received earlier to develop an adequate protection. So it's definitely something that is super tragic to see puppies go through. As you guys know, I had Axel, um, you know, we brought him home when he was <clears throat> eight weeks old. And I remember when, when we brought him home, there was another puppy on Instagram that I saw that had Parvo and the owners ended up doing a GoFundMe and I ended up talking to this other puppy. It was a black lab. I ended up talking to his owners during the process just because it was so sad to see. And it's also really scary for the owners. So that's a little bit about Parvo. If you had never heard of it before, it's very heartbreaking to experience. And I consider myself very lucky to have never experienced it. So this is a bigger issue though. So let's talk about this video that was quickly deleted. The clip was uploaded on this YouTube channel called Mama by Nature, and this is the clip that I was sent. So credit goes to her. I will link the clip in my description box, but let's watch it and see what happens. Tonight, putting out the thoughts, praying. Come here, come here, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Look at me, look at me, look at me. We have to do this, look at me. She's going to be okay. Repeat this. Say, Rosie is healthy. Rosie is healthy. Look at me. Rosie is healthy. Rosie is 
Look at me. Selfie. Rosie's beautiful. Rosie's Rosie beautiful. is strong. Rosie's strong. She is healthy. She, is healthy. she will make it. 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 It's crazy. No, no matter how much you know about positive mindset, law of attraction, it doesn't matter how much you're educated on that. When you're in the moment, it's still so hard to not feel sad. I'm going to let you guys go. I need to go be there for Christian. I just wanted to give you an update. Real quick, let's talk about influencers and bloggers having to film everything. I understand that this is part of your life and you want to share it with your subscribers. However, it doesn't need to be filmed while your son is obviously very upset. He's not taking this good. I wouldn't be taking this good, but I damn sure wouldn't have a camera in my face. I would allow that moment to be one-on-one -on -one so that I could talk to my child about their emotions and allow them to feel exactly what they're feeling. Um, and also obviously reassure them, look, Rosie has the best medical team around her. Um, she's going to be okay. But none of that needs to involve filming it. And this is what it all comes down to with the vloggers consistently thinking about content and feelings kind of get put to the side. It's like, okay, well, how can we make this content? How can we get views out of this? How can we get attention out of this? It's never let me cut the camera off and be here for my child one-on-one. -on -one. Let me make sure that the camera's on so that we get this footage for the vlog. It's gross. Because so many of you turned on the countdown reminders for my new video today and you wanted to see our big news. Please pray for her. I know she's gonna make it through. She's an amazing, beautiful little girl and I can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family. So if you could pray for us, we appreciate it. I love you guys, bye. So right there, she ends the vlog, but then it's still recording, and this is where things just like hits the fan. Come here, come closer for the video, come closer. I'm closer. I'm closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Closer, down, put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Act like you're crying. This child is upset about his sick dog, and you have the mother coaching him on act like you're crying let's drum up so many emotions we know that you're emotional but let's drum it up to a thousand so that this gets more attention and more views and more clicks really quick i am crying yeah and the kid is like i am crying like what else do you want from me this is her coaching him, and it makes my stomach turn. Go like this. No, Mom, I'm actually seriously crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this. She has some serious issues. We're going to listen to her stupid little apology, too, but this is gross. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. This is so disgusting. Wow. I don't know, Mom, I'm actually crying. She's crying. Look at me. 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 I'm actually crying. I know. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at the camera, look at the camera. <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's over, it's over, it's over. I got what I needed out of you. I, I got the good thumbnail, I got the little clip that I needed where you're so emotional and sad over your dog, it's over. She is a piece of work and I'll be super honest, I hope that people continue to call her out for this. I really don't want this to be something that's just talked about for a week and then forgotten. I really hope that people continue to bring this up. I don't care that the video is gone. I don't care that she put an apology out. This is not something that should just be forgotten because she said sorry. Um, 
I feel for her son because I know what it's like to be young and have a dog, you know, even if it's a puppy that you just got a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago, I know what that bond feels like. Dogs are so vital to kids and their childhood. I, you know, I don't know what my childhood would have been without my dog. To not only be dealing with the thought of your new puppy being sick and not feeling well. You're also, what I'm assuming is in the parking lot of the vet's office. You just walked out of there. You're feeling emotional. Um, your, your sadness is through the roof. And instead of comforting you, your mother decides to turn on the camera and then coach you on how you need to look for the vlog thumbnail. Disgusting. I am putting up this video the minute I can address something. Um, I know a lot of you didn't see it, only some of you saw the video, some of you did not. Um, but I just put up a video maybe like 30 minutes ago letting you guys know. And thank God someone screen recorded that because this is something that could have been, if nobody had the footage that she deleted, this could have definitely been something that she twisted and manipulated into, oh, people were overreacting, so I had to delete the video, you know, cancel culture or whatever she could have said. I'm so grateful that someone decided to record that so that people can see. If this is happening with this influencer and her son, what do you think is happening with an, a family vlogging channel like the Ace Family? or the LeBrants, where their kids are consistently used in thumbnails, their kids are consistently used for emotional manipulation, way to get the subscribers to care more about their content. This lifted a veil on the entire family vlogging circuit on YouTube, in my opinion, and it confirms what I have thought for a very long time, but it's great to see the proof. We were gonna announce our big news today. I was letting you know that we got a puppy. Unfortunately, she has Parvo, which she contracted before we bought her. Uh, we are very upset. We've been crying all day. It has been extremely scary. They don't know if she's gonna make it. Um, it has been such an emotional day. And I put up that video maybe 30 minutes ago. In the ending of the video, I was just so emotionally Honestly, completely worn out, emotional crying the whole day. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, come pose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already. No, it wasn't disgusting that you said, let's pose for the thumbnail. It's the coaching and the manipulation and the telling him that he's getting it wrong. That's not the way that I want this to look. It's the um, directing of the entire situation having a child on your shoulder for a thumbnail is not the thing that people are upset about. It's the, you're not doing it right. Do it like this. Let me see your mouth. Do it. So sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to edit out like my bloopers. So I edited out the ending. And so many of you said, girl, we already saw that. We're so disappointed in you, in the mom you are. That's not a blooper. That's you manipulating, manipulating your son so that your thumbnail would get more clicks and views. That's not a blooper. A blooper is misspeaking or saying a sentence that makes no sense, tripping over your words. Those are bloopers. Let's not twist this into something that it never was. Or like, why would you make him pose for a thumbnail? And my, like my heart like dropped. I rewatched the footage and- Her heart dropped because she realizes what I was, massive fuck up this was and the fact that people not only saw it but they also now have seen after after the fact you tried to hide the video people got it and now that's out there forever so this was never a problem of oh you're making your son pose for a thumbnail that in itself is not a huge ordeal it's the coaching and making it, um, making it appear so sad and heartbreaking. It is sad and heartbreaking. None of that coaching ever needed to happen, period. 
I cannot believe I rewatched it and you guys are completely right. A hundred million percent right. And I so hope you know that I'm- If she didn't make this error, she wouldn't feel, feel bad. She, let's always remember that when something like this happens, you're upset that you got caught. So Lord knows what else is happening behind the scenes that isn't being caught. It's gross. There's no excusing what she did. And I don't care if people want to say, oh, you're being too harsh. You're being, doesn't matter. This tells all of the secrets as to what's happening when you see these kids looking sad on thumbnails or acting sad in video. Is it because the parents were coaching them or was it because that was their actual genuine emotions? And I will always stand on the fact that if a child is sad, they need that one-on-one -on -one -on -one time with their parent or guardian or whatever. They do not need a camera lens shoved in their face. Take your content and shove it. I'm genuine about that because today was, I'll tell you all about the puppy another day, but we basically got a puppy. Her name is Rosie. We're hoping that she's going to make it through. She has Parvo. We've been in the emergency vet clinic all day. Um, and I was just so flustered and emotional. All None of this is genuine in my personal opinion. She is acting genuine because she got caught. That's it, period. Day and like was trying to rush with Christian at the end and we were, I told him like, hey, pose for a thumbnail. Like this is a sad video, act sad. And that's just, it's so wrong. I should have never done that. Looking back at the footage, I'm so- You don't need to tell him to act sad. He was already sad. Your continued coaching of the situation on what you wanted the thumbnail to look like is the problem. I'm disgusted with myself. I wanna thank those of you who brought that to my attention. Um, uh, some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened, no makeup, nothing, coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say sorry. I was so watching it back. It's just, I think I was just so emotional today and flustered and like, I should never ever have even tried to do a thumbnail on such a video where we have been so emotional all day. Um, and I'm just so disappointed in myself. I wanna thank those of you who called me out for it. A few people DM me on Instagram and I wrote back, I'm not shying away from it. I wrote back and I was like, you're completely right. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I greatly appreciate it. It sucks because now people are gonna think that our emotions from today were not genuine when they completely were. Christian and I have been crying literally the entire day. We got this brand new puppy who is adorable and such an amazing addition to our family. Found out that who we got her from Get, sold her to us with Parvo and she may not make it. I have been such an emotional wreck the entire day and cr my son as well. Um, and that's what I was kind of updating you guys on in the video because I said we had big news and then I- Okay, I'm not gonna continue to let her babble on and try to crawl her way out of this. Um, does she get some credit for addressing it? Yeah, sure, but you got caught so you're addressing it because you got caught we saw what actually happens that's clearly what you do and um this is exciting a very sad situation for your financial gain and that's been the entire conversation around family vloggers and putting kids onto youtube is parents Exploiting situations for their own financial gain by the time the kids get old enough to even know what money is all about and how to spend it or manage it that money is going to be long gone I will almost guarantee we will not see any of these kids be financially successful based off of the money that they helped generate they didn't even help generate it they generated it because people like to watch kids on the internet and the last thing that I'll say about this is she is really using this excuse of we were sad, we were rushed, we were stressed out. That is not an excuse for coaching your child on how to look sad in a thumbnail so that you get more views on your video. I've been sad, everyone's been sad. If you're actually sad, then scrap the content. It doesn't need to be on YouTube. Stop trying to look at every situation in life on the scale of how can we use this for our channel. That's 
definitely a huge topic of discussion with family vloggers is once you start living your life and looking at everything on how we can use this for content, how can this get us views, how can we maybe get some more subscribers off of this story or this day or this situation, that's where it becomes a huge, huge problem. You're exploiting your kids for your own financial gain. Um, so she's gross. I want nothing to do with this situation and she does not get a pass in my book for being sad or stressed out, period. Now, the last thing that I wanna say in this video is obviously their sweet little dog, Rosie, is an innocent, um, an innocent dog caught in the middle of a show. And I send all of my love and positivity to that sweet little dog. I hope that she pulls through this. Parvo is gut-wrenching and so sad to see. I hope that she pulls through and I hope that she makes a full recovery. I think Jordan should probably take a long look in the mirror and continue to watch that clip that she mistakenly uploaded and try to figure out how to do some soul searching because obviously everything is about how can we get more clicks, more views, more subscribers, and more sympathy, and you're utilizing your son in order to meet your goal, which is gross. So either way, those are my thoughts on this whole Jordan Cheyenne situation. For now, if you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment, and if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.